Today I'm sharing with you guys my exact three-step workflow to create viral hooks each and every single time I go to make a reel. And before we start the tutorial, practice footage is going to be down below, so go ahead and grab that and follow along. So without all the way, let's go ahead and jump straight into today's tutorial. Also, shout out Liquid Death, bro. I've actually been loving this uh, sparkling water. Okay, so now that we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the footage that we're kind of working with so you guys can see what we're working with. Here's my 2025 gaming setup as a creative entrepreneur. So as you guys can see, I already have the sort of B-roll um, cut it up. I have the audio going. Now we're gonna go ahead and start off with the C, which is just camera movement. Now this is kind of not the best example to show you guys, um, but I'm still gonna go ahead and just show you guys kind of what we can cook up. So if you guys have the viral edits pack, you guys could simply go to the viral edits, go to camera movements, and then just drag and drop a pull hook camera movement, just like so. And then you guys would literally have the pull hook done for you. But chances are, if you're new here, um, you just wanna know how to do this from scratch. So first things first, what I enjoy doing is doing all my camera movements on an adjustment layer. So we're gonna go to new item, adjustment layer, hit okay. We're gonna drag and drop this into our timeline. Now, my mouse is actually broken, my mouse one, so forgive me if I mess up a couple times. So now that we have our adjustment layer, we can go over to the presets. Actually, never mind. go to transform. Just like so, type in transform. We're gonna go to distort, transform, drag and drop, just like so. And then we're gonna go over here to this area and we're gonna go ahead and mess with the keyframes. Now, what I want is a zoom out. So we're going to go ahead and go keyframe um, 100. And we're just going to move this over just however many frames we're feeling. Um, and then we're just going to zoom in because we want it to zoom out. So first keyframe is going to be like this. Here's and as you guys can see, it's going to zoom out like so. Now, that's not looking good. Reason being is we need to select both of these layers and we need to make them bezier. So when we do that, we can go hit this icon down over here and then we see like this sort of speed motion graph. Now, this is kind of the real sauce of really smoothing things out. And what I like to look at personally is this graph down here, honestly, sometimes both, but let's go ahead and just see how this is Here's looking. So that's looking a little chopped Here's my and honestly a little choppy as well. And the reason being is we've got to go down here to the composition shutter, uncheck this, and we're just going to max this out at 360. And then as you guys can see, with that checked off, we're getting some really clean motion blur. But anyways, so here's the here's motion blur, just like that. And that's looking pretty dang good. Here's my um, but maybe it's here's like a little too slow. So we could bring this closer to make it faster. Here's my 2020. Just like that. So it kind of like whips out like so. And for this specific video, I think that actually looks really, really good. Here's my so there's our first camera movement. We're going to go ahead and call that a day. Something that's been pretty cool lately is people have been making the first couple frames um desaturated so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is go to lumetri color just like so and then we're gonna go ahead and go to basic correction we're gonna go to the saturation keyframe it we're gonna go over maybe like just five six frames one two three four five six yeah i think six would be cool and then we're just gonna make this all the way back up to a hundred here's my and it kind of gives like that cool like chromatic sort of look it's very subtle. Here's Not many people are going to notice it, but the people that do are going to be like, wow, that attention to detail is crazy. So start doing that in your reels and uh, I guess reap the benefits of being mad aesthetic, you know? <laughs> okay, so here's, here's our camera movement. It's looking setup. great. You guys can go ahead and do like a um, another one, like a zoom in over here, just like so. Let's go ahead and setup play this through. It'll creative. zoom in just like so. Again, it's kind of hard to see with this footage, but if it's talking head, it'd be way easier to see kind of what's going on. But yes, yeah, play through with the camera movements. Set up as a creative entrepreneur. Banger. So now I've got our camera movements. I'm actually just going to go ahead and move this up a couple layers. Uh, I'm going to move this up as well. This is just my color grade. Don't worry about it. Now for the next one, the T, which is topography or a topic. We can go ahead and do the same exact thing. We can go to the viral edits and we can go to the topography presets. Now, again, if you guys don't have this hack, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it from scratch. But real quick, I just want to show you guys kind of what we could do very, very easily. Stacked text effects. Let's go ahead and just do maybe let's just do like a quick word by word. Um, so we're going to drag and drop it. It's going to drag and drop our layers. And I'm just going to go ahead and play it through. Here's my 2025 gaming setup. Sick. I'm going to go ahead and cut this all at the end, just like so. You know, my mouse one button's broke, so my fault. Here's my... So I say, here's, I'm just going to line up the text with what I say. Here's my, my 2025. Five. Here's my 2025. Five gaming. 
gaming setup. Five gaming set setup as a bet. And then we're just gonna leave this here on screen like so. And now let's go ahead and just rearrange the text. But first, let's go ahead and actually change the text. So I'm gonna go to the properties tab. Type in. Cool. So now is kind of the fun part. We're just gonna go ahead and move this over. Let's go to the last keyframe, and then we're gonna go ahead and just move it to where it actually fits and makes sense. So I'm gonna do like here's my 2025. Let's see, maybe something like that. Gaming setup. Banger. And just like that, we've already made our hook. Here's my 2025 gaming setup. And as you guys can see, it's probably like, yo, why can I barely see your text? Um, why is it like not sort of popping through? Um, the main reason is because I actually have my color grade layer up here, which I'm actually going to go ahead and just get rid of and just do it properly. So let me fix that real quick. There we go. Here's my 2025 gaming setup as a crit. Go ahead. Select all of this. Set up as a. And then as a creative entrepreneur, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold Alt, drag it over. Up as a creative entrepreneur. Then slide this back over here. Entrepreneur. Slide these three over. As a creative entrepreneur and then i'm just going to go ahead and select these all right click nest them so that way i can move them all together um just like this kind of center it a little bit better just like so and there we go. We have like our Here's topography sort of hook. Gaming setup as a creative entrepreneur. Here's very, very easy. So that was super easy using the topography presets in my viral edits pack. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this all from scratch. It's actually very, very simple. So let's go ahead and start that process right now. Okay. So first things first is you want to go over here to the type tool and then you just want to type out the words, what you say um, in the hook. Here's my tool. So here's. And then let's go ahead and just drag this down. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just duplicate this by holding alt, drag up. And then here's, here's my, and then I say my right there. So I'm going to type in my, and then I'm actually going to just move this down like so. My 20, and then I say 2025. And then this will kind of be like the last sort of layer that I show you guys. Um, before we do the animations. So we're gonna see how this looks. Here's my 2025 game. So we're just gonna cut it right here just for tutorial's sake. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, delete that. Here's my 2020. And then let's say, okay, this looks good for you, but you wanna actually go ahead and add in some animations going in. So you're gonna go to effects. You're gonna go to transform again, just like so. Drag and drop transform. And then you're going to go ahead and use uncheck this increase shutter angle. And then we're going to go ahead and keyframe the opacity as well as the position. And we're going to go ahead and move these two keyframes over just maybe like four frames. So one, two, three, four, just like so. And we're going to move this over back to the beginning. We're going to drag this down just like this. And then we're going to also turn the opacity down to about, I'm just going to do 30. And as you guys can see, Here's my that's going to look very choppy and that's a little too short. So I'm just going to drag this out Here's my so that way it kind of fades Here's in like tw that. Looks pretty good, but to make it look actually good, um, go to temporal impolation and bezier, do the same exact thing and mess around with this sort of um, keyframe effect. We're just going to move this over just like so. Move this over like this. Here's my 20 There you guys go. It looks way Here's smoother. And then what you guys want to go ahead and do if you want to actually copy and paste it to all of these other layers is you guys want to go to transform 
right click, um, copy, and then just go ahead, control V, control V onto that. And then you have the effect onto all of your other tax layers. Here's my 2025 gaming. And as you can see, that looks pretty freaking good. That's literally how you guys get like that clean topography sort of slide in text look very, very simply. And then real quick, maybe you guys saw that process and we're like, yeah, I'm not trying to do that each and every single time. You guys can save your presets by just, instead of copying right there, you guys can save preset. Or you guys could go to my viral edits pack, which is just in presets, viral effects pack, go to slide effects, and then you guys could do slide in up subtle, select all of these, go ahead, drag and drop this down in just like so, and then Here's my 2025. You guys have it done in just like the blink of an eye. Super simple. And this viral effects pack is also in the viral reels bundle. So if you guys just want to go ahead and have the entire editing workflow kind of done for you as much as it can be, go ahead, copy the viral reels bundle as it's super, super helpful as you guys can see in this tutorial. Okay, so now the last step, which is V or VFX slash sound effects, we're going to go ahead and just add in some cool effects that we think uh, would kind of fit for this video. Um, now, me personally, honestly think like maybe like a flash transition right here would be pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and just add in a flash transition just like so drag and drop up as a creative entrepreneur so that looks pretty dang good um Here's you guys could also even just like add in maybe so, like a sort of stutter or like flash transition just like so let's go ahead and just do that so maybe we'll do like this two frames two frames just like so Go ahead, select both of these, go to effects, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a black and right X-ray effect, just like so. Up as a up as a so it does like that cool little like flash transition. Up. Or you guys can go over here and do like an orange sort of style of that, just like so by drag and dropping the viral effects, orange X-ray effect. Up as a creative, set up as a creative entrepreneur. Looks pretty creative. Um, I actually like the black and white one more. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and do that. Select both of them, black and white drag and drop and then there you guys go you guys kind of have the hook sort of done um already so now you guys can go ahead and add in your sound effects uh if you don't have any sound effects go on youtube look for some just type in like sound effects for transitions yada yada or other websites or adobe stock if you guys want i'm gonna go ahead and use my own actual um transition sound it's called the takeover click which by the way it's in my free pack on my website so go ahead check it out as well as the sound effects riser so i'm gonna go ahead and drag in the riser then I'm also going to do these sound effects for the click and I'm just going to add the click right um, here on the transition, just like so. Up as a See, maybe that didn't line up properly. Up as a up as a and then if this looks a little too much for you, you guys can go ahead and just drag this down or it sounds a little too much. You can drag it down to like negative 10 dB. Up as a creative that looks pretty good. And then same thing for this one. You guys could also go and go to the heavy reverb. I like to turn up the reverb on this and then also turn this down about like 5 dB. You guys can drag this line down if you want, up for more, lower for none, or hit G. If you guys wanna do just negative 5 dB, and there you go. Go to play it through. Here's my 2025 gaming setup as a creative entrepreneur. Sick. So there you guys go. You guys have like the hook sort of done. You guys could even add in more effects if you guys want this to look more stylish or you guys could keep it clean just like this. But using the CTV or capture the viewer framework, you guys are going to be able to make viral hooks without even really trying too hard. If you guys want this exact hook, go down in the description below and grab the viral reels bundle because I'm going to go ahead and update the pack with this exact hook for you guys to use in your future projects. Now, as time goes on, this pack is going to continually be updated with new sort of styles different effects so be on the lookout for that anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video please leave a like comment subscribe down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace